summer to the 27 teams in 27 days previews takes us to the land of Owingsville. Here are the Bath County Wildcats. Last year, Johnny Pointer helped bring winning back to Owingsville. Bath County went five and six, which was the win total the two previous seasons. But gone are names like Swartz, McFarland, and Richards, and some big, big boys. So speed is the name of the game for Bath County this season. Because where we're a lot smaller, we're a lot faster than we were last year. Because we had a lot of bigger people, which we were stronger, so we could push bigger people. But since we're faster, we can run fast plays on the outside. He's putting in a whole lot more new stuff again. Like I said, everything's always changing, always getting better. Offensively is where things get drastically different. I mean, I think an advantage we have is like people just don't know what to expect out of us. You can say that again because the Wildcats are going to throw the football with Ty Rogers and a host of receivers. I've got a guy playing quarterback, and he hasn't played quarterback since he was in uh, middle school. But uh, he's eager to learn. He's doing what I ask him to do. That's where that's where we see our advantage. We got we got a lot of guys with a lot of speed. And uh, last year last year we didn't have that. We you know some young guys are stepping up. They've gotten stronger. They've gotten faster. And then we got like we got two positions, that, two guys at every position, and receivers and everything. And a lot of guys gonna be getting involved. It's not, he says it's not gonna be really one superstar. Bath County has only four home games and will spend the entire month of September on the road. But this team continues to overcome the odds. These 30 right here, I just can't talk enough about how hard they've worked for me and, and for this community to be able to have a successful program. 